Hello, everybody. Welcome back to QNN Sports. I'm your host, Kevin Perez. Today, we are joined by Quinnipiac Women's Basketball Junior Guard, Mackenzie Deweese. Now, Mackenzie, you had a fantastic year this past season as your breakout year. You earned the MAC Player of the Year Award. What does winning that award mean to you? It's really just validation that what I'm doing is, you know, going in the right direction and that all my whole hard work has really paid off. And that, you know, my coaches have really pushed me in the growth direction because I've really grown since my freshman year. And pretty much this is just validation that I'm doing it the right way. Yeah, you guys had a fantastic season with COVID-19 as a lingering concern. You girls have been able to come together and win 11 conference games out of 16. How were you able to come together with not only the, the new freshmen, but also the veterans to kind of, you know, stick together during this pandemic and, you know, go on, continue to have a great season? How did you guys do that? Well, without summer school, it was really difficult um, not having our freshmen here. So we really had to buckle down on campus and get to know each other that way with just, you know, simple practices, but also getting in the weight room and trying to have some type of no normalcy into the season. So I, I think our coaches did a great job trying to get us motivated and get us prepped for the season. Yeah, I mean, you guys had a fantastic season, and it wasn't just you that provided for Quinnipiac. I mean, you, you had a great player, Michaela Morris, who won MAC Defensive Player of the Year. So what have you noticed that's grown in her game that's kind of helped out the entire team as a whole this season? Michaela has done a fantastic job, not only on the defensive end, but in the offensive end. Um, she does a great job of passing the ball, not, I think, to me, but to uh, um, the team. She has a really good um, jumper that is key to us winning. And when everybody claps on her, I'm able to cut and get backdoor cuts where she sees me wide open. So we play very, very well together. And when we're playing well, our team plays well. So Mick has been um, crucial to us winning and to this team. Yeah, you guys, the, the two of you have put up phenomenal stats. But the chemistry there is put together by the coaching staff. I mean, you're being led by Coach Fabry, who's arguably one of the best mid-major coaches that we've seen in our lifetime. So I ask you, Mackenzie, how much do you like this coaching staff dealing with COVID-19, you know, having to follow the, all the protocols, you know, having to come together even more this season? How impactful, how impactful has the coaching staff been this year? Well, the coaching staff definitely had a plate full this summer with COVID and no players being able to go to summer school, but then trying to keep us all together and trying to keep this team camaraderie and culture. And um, they did a great job by keeping us in Zoom calls and giving us workouts and talking to us um, many times during the week. And then just motivating us and empowering us to keep going and to get through this because there's always something great at the end. And, you know, each game we were blessed to have because you never knew if you were going to get COVID or not at that point. Um, everything was up in the air. So the coaching staff did a great job of you know, just bringing this excitement to the game that I think had been lacking because we were down for seven months. I mean, you guys, and you did fantastic in, you know, on your record wise, winning 11 games, fantastic in the Mac. And, you know, you, like we've said before, like you've done a fantastic job on the court and this is your junior year. So what has been a part of your game this year that we've seen that maybe you didn't put in as much during your sophomore or freshman year? I think for me, I was more offensive this past year. In the last two years, I wasn't. I was more defense orientated. I usually guard the best player um, on defense. And so for me to have to do both, I think that I really had to step up to guard the best player and produce on offense for our team. Um, I think for me that what I got better at was hitting my mid-range jumpers because I have a very good elevation. So I'm able to get high up in the air and you know, that's really great when you're going against people that are sometimes a foot taller than you. So I think in that aspect, just working on my offensive game and feeling more confident in myself and my ability to be um, a great basketball player and having confidence in my teammates. Yeah, you, you built such a great camaraderie and it led to being ranked number two going into the MAC tournament, being another favorite as the girls from Quinnipiac tend to be from, you know, for the past few years. But unfortunately, you guys did suffer a loss at the hands of Ryder in the first round of your MAC tournament experience. So what are you taking away from that loss to move on to the next season? You know, Kevin, we were really shocked after the game. We hadn't lost a um, tournament game in a very long time. And this is the first time that I've lost a tournament game um, since my freshman year. And obviously we missed last year. But there was a lot of shock. And 
you know, disappointment. It was a really tough game for not only myself, but in general, I mean, Ryder knew what they wanted to do and they uh, shut us down in different aspects of the game. And we weren't able to step up in different areas of the court and that led to our loss. But, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and that, you know, there's going to be some good that comes out of this and you can see that next year. And maybe it wasn't our time, but we're going to take that and use that as motivation for next season. Yeah, speaking of making room for improvement, I mean, it looks like there's not much to improve from your part because you won the MAC Player of the Year. And as an individual, you had you arguably your best year yet. So I ask you, after winning this achievement and having such a successful regular season, what are some improvements that you're looking to focus on going forward towards the next season? Well, there's definitely always improvement. And I think for me, there's a couple aspects that I really need to focus on. One is my free throw shooting. I feel like I was so amped up getting to the line that I couldn't find a way to calm myself down. And that really led to a lot of his free throws. Another aspect is getting open off the face guards. Um, Niagara and Ryder had face guarded me and it's very different compared to the high school um, atmosphere. So being able to adapt off of that and get open off the ball screens to get more of a, a floater shot instead of a jump shot will really help me um, in the next couple of years. We'll see if it develops into your fantastic game, Mackenzie. Thank you very much for joining us. Of course. <laughs>